Okay, fantastic. I think that's everybody. So uh, just welcome to everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Um, for those of you that, um, that haven't met me before or spoken to me before, my name's Emma. I'm one of the connoisseurs here at Panache Cruises. Uh, we're joined today by um, another one of our connoisseurs, Chloe, and also James Scott from Oceania. So for anybody that's watched any of our webinars before, you may all be aware that I'm a big, big fan of Oceania Cruises. So um, I always enjoy doing these webinars and James always has a fantastic presentation for everybody. Um, for those of you who are new to Panache Cruises, just before we start and before I hand over to James, just thought I'd give you a quick overview of who we are, uh, what we can do for you, um, and just a, a bit of background on Panache and um, our, our starting point. So we were founded by a gentleman called James Cole, and he is very well known in the cruising industry. He's a, an industry veteran who has um, launched some incredibly successful brands over the years and James's real passion is customer service so we offer a personal connoisseur service for all of our customers here at Panache Cruises and combined between our connoisseurs we've got over a hundred years of experience so you are very much in safe hands when you're dealing with any of us here. Uh, we specialise in elite ocean cruising river cruising, yacht style cruising and expedition. So we've got all styles of cruising covered for everybody. And with our connoisseur service, we really want to make sure that from start to finish, um, your, your holiday is the most enjoyable experience it can be. Now that can be different for everyone and each individual. It could be just as simple as booking the holiday for you and um, making sure that everything runs smoothly or it could be um, that you'd like us to take care of your seat reservations on the flights, your shore excursions and dinner reservations on the cruise. Nothing at all is too much trouble for any of the connoisseurs here. So um, that's really our ethos and um, we certainly aim to go above and beyond in, in all cases. Now we've got some really exciting news to, to talk about today with Oceania and specifically focusing on the Caribbean. I think uh, with this recent weather that we've all had, we can, um, we can really enjoy this one. So I'll pass it over to James and I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Thank you very much, Emma. Good morning, everyone, and welcome. My name is James Scott and I'm the Business Development Manager for the UK and Ireland here at Oceania Cruises. I just want to thank you all very much for joining our webinar today um, and we're going to be talking about the beautiful Caribbean as well as Oceana Cruises. I'd also like to thank Chloe from Panache for joining us today. Chloe is a Caribbean expert so will be helping me co-present today's webinar and will provide us with personal experiences and advice and advice on the wonderful Caribbean. Over the next 30 to 45 minutes, Chloe and I will be bringing the Caribbean to life as well as talking about the wonderful Oceana Cruises brand. So let's begin. As you may or may not know, our beautiful and elegant ships already have generous space per guest and they are perfectly suited to our return to sailing. The acclaimed onboard experience and service levels will not be diminished in any way whatsoever and in fact enhanced in many ways. Many of these enhancements will be behind the scenes but importantly you will see only positive changes to your enjoyment when cruising with Oceana Cruises. On board Oceana Cruises, we have a very courteous and relaxing pace on board with a high staff to guest ratio. We offer small group excursions, offering a personalised and enriching destination experiences. And we have an elegant, casual ambiance. There's no um, dress code, so there's no tie or jacket required. So a little bit of information about the Oceana Cruises brand. So we currently have six ships within our fleet and they're split between two different classes. We have our regatta class ships. These ships are regatta, Nautica, Insignia and Sirena. These ships hold 684 guests with 400 crew and they are 33,000 tonne. We then have our Oceana class ships, which are Marina and Riviera. 
Marina and Riviera are purpose-built vessels to the Oceana, uh, Oceana Cruises fleet. Marina was built in 2011 and Riviera was built in 2012 and these ships hold 1,250 guests with 800 crew. These ships are also 66,000 ton and usually on ships which are 66,000 ton you can you can hold 2,200 2,300 guests but we're just holding 1,250 so the guest to space ratio is absolutely fantastic. Included with an Oceana Cruises cruise, our guests will receive free dining at all of our specialty restaurants on board, free and unlimited soft drinks, bottled water, cappuccinos, uh, lattes, espressos, teas and juices, free room service dining 24 hours a day, access to the Aquamar Spa and Vitality Centre, our Vitality Centre is our gym, and free shuttle services from ship to many city centres. And then included as standard and what all of our guests are guaranteed when they book an Ocean Cruises Voyage is our O-Live Choice Package. So included as standard with our O-Live Choice Package, guests will receive complimentary flights and complimentary internet, as well as one of the following three options. So either a free shore excursions package, a free beverage package or free shipboard credit. And the values of the shore excursions package and shipboard credit are determined on the length and duration of the sailing. So before we continue, I just want to provide a brief overview of our health, safety and wellness protocols. To protect our guests, our crew and the communities we visit, we have developed a, a robust and comprehensive health and safety strategy with new and enhanced protocols to create multiple layers of protection against COVID-19. Our science-backed plan for a safe and healthy return to cruising was developed in conjunction with a diverse group of globally recognised experts and will be continuously improved and refined using the best available science and technology. While I could go into great detail regarding all of our protocols, it would simply take too long. But what I can say, though, is that we're busy making cruising the safest travel experience. A selection of our protocols are all guests and crew must be vaccinated and we will have responsible social, uh, social distancing measures and controlled capacities on board. And our health safety uh, protocols requirements will, be, will continue to evolve as time progresses. For further information and further detail, please visit our dedicated landing page on our health, safety and wellness protocols, which can be found at www.oceanacruises.com forward slash health. So as well, we've recently announced our return to sailing. So Oceana Cruises will continue to have a measured return to sail. We have currently paused through to the 30th of September with the exception of Marina. Marina will resume service with her first sailing on the 29th of August, which will be Copenhagen to Stockholm. We're very excited for this. We'll be operating with a reduced capacity and we encourage you to visit our website for up-to-date news and information regarding all of our protocols. As mentioned, all guests will be, required to be, will be required to be fully vaccinated at least 14 days prior to embarkation and we are not enforcing our guests to take Oceana Cruises shore excursions. Riviera, Sirena and Insignia have, all been, have also been announced with Riviera restarting on the 18th of October from Istanbul, Insignia restarting on the 21st of December uh, from Miami and Sirena restarting on the 22nd of January 22 from Miami. So we're very excited to see our ships back in the waters. As I was mentioning, um, we will continue to visit um, here at Oceana Cruises, we will continue to visit well over 450 ports of call worldwide. We will further increase the number of longer uh, voyages to meet with the demand. With more overnight stays and late departures here at Oceana Cruises, we're all about local destination immersion. We have smaller boutique style ships which allow us to visit smaller niche ports of call globally and our selection of smaller group tours will allow for a more personalised experience. So today we're here to speak about the Caribbean and the Caribbean specifically. So our Caribbean voyages here at Oceana Cruises invite you to discover the off the beaten path destinations with picturesque boutique islands to the larger Caribbean islands. Here 
um, on screen now are a collection of destinations that we visit. Here you, here you can see we visit the stunning uh, the Bonaire, the Cayman Islands and Aruba, as well as the larger Caribbean islands such as Barbados and Jamaica. We will now speak about a selection of port highlights and destinations that we visit on board an Oceana Cruises Caribbean voyage. Here we will speak to Chloe about her experiences and what our guests can expect from the wonder, uh, wonderful Caribbean destinations that we visit. Up first we have Nassau, so Nassau in the Bahamas. Nassau is the alluring centerpiece of the Bahamas. The history of the island has been wonderfully preserved in stately cathedrals and Victorian mansions displaying elegant, noble architectures. Types of shore excursions that you can expect to take in Nassau are Casparang Sail and Snorkel, where you can sail in a Casparang through the gorgeous seas surrounding the new Providence Island and snorkel in crystal clear waters that are teeming with marine life. Alternatively, you can take the Balmoral Island Dolphin Encounter, where you can interact with Atlantic bottlenose dolphins who are used to human contact, as well as enjoying um, Balmoral Island following the Dolphin Encounter, where you can rent water sports equipment if you wish. So Chloe, in your experiences, what can our guests expect from Nassau and the Bahamas? For me, my top tip would be for the Bahamas, it's an extremely busy port of call. As it's such a popular and in-demand destination, you're often in with about six to eight ships at a time, so it can be really busy. So my top tip here would be actually to make sure you do book a shore excursion, because um, it then gets you out straight away and you can go and see um, what Nassau has to offer. I personally love the catamaran tours. Um, I love snorkeling. They're some of the most pristine beaches that you'll ever find in the Bahamas. But also it's such an affluent island. It's quite interesting because as you're sailing past the island, they'll point out all the celebrities that live here and you get to look at their mega mansions and their yachts pulled up. So yeah, it's a really exciting island. Um, plenty to do. Just make sure you do book a trip um, beforehand so you're not disappointed and because they, they do sell out very quickly. Perfect. Thank you very much, Chloe. You're welcome. So next up we have uh, Aruba. Um, so first settled in 1796, named as a tribute to um, certainly Arunyastat in Aruba anyway, is, is named as a tribute to the Dutch King William of Orange. The city today attracts travellers to marvel at the colourful Dutch colonial architecture and stroll around the beautiful streets. My favourite shore excursion from our selection is definitely the Aruba sightseeing and ostrich farm. Here you can visit the island's oldest lighthouse, a soaring beacon that offers stunning vistas and also visit a farm where you can get close to ostriches and emus. So what about you Chloe, what's your favourite thing to do in Aruba? Probably head to the beaches, um, especially to Palm Island which I can see you have on there as an excursion. Um, it's a really fun day out, there's great food, great drinks, you've got all your water sports included, um, so it's a really, really fun day out. But um, Aruba, it's a really colourful, vibrant island. It's very different to, to anywhere else in the Caribbean. So whether you do a shore excursion or not, you'll have the most amazing time. Um, yeah, one of my absolute favourites, Aruba. I can certainly see myself on a beach now. <laughs> <laughs> cool, thank you very much. So next we have William Stapp in Curacao. Uh, here you can take in the ch uh, charming Dutch colonial architecture along Williamstadt's Harbour in this historic town which has actually been named a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Um, so you'll be able to explore the aquamarine waters of Curacao's numerous beaches and dive along the stunning coral reefs. Enjoy different soar excursions here in Curacao such as a trolley train through history where you can roll through the streets of the UNESCO listed Williamstadt historic, uh, historic district uh, by comfortable trolley train or take our Curacao City and VIP beach day where you can relax on a beautiful white sandy beach in a special VIP area. You can swim in the sea, stretch out on the beach and enjoy use of a complimentary beach lounger. You can also take advantage of our open bar and light snacks included. Chloe, what are your favourite things to do in, in Curacao? Actually, what you've got on the picture there, which is to cross over the Queen Emma Bridge. I don't know if it's named after our Emma, um, but the, pon the pontoon bridge there, it connects you with the main town. Um, and you can easily, from where the ships, um, where, from where you're docked alongside, you can very easily just walk into the main town by crossing this bridge. 
Um, and anyone who's been to Copenhagen, you'll totally see the similarities with it being a Dutch island, but it's yeah, unlike, any, unlike any other Caribbean island that there is. So it's really, people think they've completed the Caribbean or they've, they've done all the islands, unless you've been to the ABCs, including Curacao, you really haven't because it's such a different island. It's so safe, but you can cross that bridge you're in the main town, you've got lovely shops, open air barbecues, it's just got a real nice vibe and flavour. So I just like to cross that bridge and have a great day out. Yeah, Fantastic. really, really great port. It's very colourful as well, which is fantastic. Yeah, yeah. like I said, if you've been to Copenhagen, you'll see the similar similarities of all the coloured houses along the, along the river. It's, it's great. Yeah. yeah, it looks absolutely stunning. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So next up we have um, Bonaire. So here you can take a hike in the local national park and look for birds, lizards, iguanas or snorkel in the sapphire sea surrounded by a rainbow of tropical fish. Visit butterfly gardens, um, go, uh, go sea kayaking through mangroves or see the famed saltwater lake uh, Gotemir. You can also relax, uh, relax as you watch the fishing boats along, player, um, along the player Abu waterfront or enjoy a quiet moment on Pink Beach. So again, uh, Chloe, I know you've been to, to Bonaire and you love yes. the destination. What, what things are there and what, what can our guests expect from Bonaire? So Bonaire is very different to the other two ABCs. It's very different to Aruba and Curacao. It's a very peaceful, very quiet island. Um, it has my favourite beach and probably, I'm going to say, all of the Caribbean. Um, which is Sorabon Beach, I would get, I'd make sure I never had to work when I was in Bonaire and I'd get the first taxi to the beach and it's just this beautiful lagoon. You can walk out probably a mile and it's only up to sort of, for me, my knees on normal people, their waist, I suppose, <laughs> um, the other way around. So it's a beautiful lagoon. Um, there's a stunning little beach bar there with bean bags to sunbathe on, great food and drink. But if you love a beach, um, you, ha you have to go here and go to Sorabon Beach. It's probably the nicest beach in the Caribbean. For me, I mean, I love all beaches, but this one is just a very special beach. So, yeah, head to the beach and have a great day out. Fantastic. All the talk about beaches is definitely, mm. it's, <laughs> it's definitely making me look forward to the summer. Um, okay, so once we're done exploring uh, the Caribbean islands, um, we, we then make our way back onto to the ship. So I'm now going to spend a little bit of time taking you through um, the Oceana Cruises product and what life on board um, is, is like. And then what we will do after uh, this is go into a little bit of itineraries um, around uh, the Caribbean and which itineraries that we, that we go to and what destinations that we go to. So here at Oceana Cruises, we're known for our beautifully appointed suites and staterooms on board. So included as standard across all of our suites and staterooms are free soft drinks, which are replenished daily, free still and sparkling Vero water. So Vero water is our plastic reduction scheme on board and all Vero water is served in glass bottles. We have a 24 hour butler service in all of our suites and also Bulgari amenities across all of our stateroom bathrooms. Here at Oceana Cruises, we also have an Oceana Cruises exclusive, which is the Ultra Tranquility Bed. The Ultra Tranquility Bed is, um, like I've mentioned, is an exclusive to Oceana Cruises and has a thousand thread count Egyptian cotton linen. Each mattress has a mattress topper, which is infused with chamomile oil. So it's an incredible, incredible night's sleep. So after you've done exploring the Caribbean, you know that you can go to a nice comfy, uh, comfy bed um, at night. So I'm going to begin uh, to talk about our verandas and concierge level, um, our concierge level verandas on board. We do have insides and outsides on board. However, our main bulk of accommodations do begin at veranda level. Um, so here we have um, the, oh, it's on a timer. So uh, both veranda and concierge level verandas are identical in size. However, the concierge level verandas do have additional amenities such as unlimited to the Aquamar Spa Terrace, which is a private retreat situated in our Aquamar Spa and Vitality Center. And it provides our guests access to sun lounges and whirlpools. We have an expanded lunch and dining room menu served from our grand dining room uh, restaurant. And we have priority embarkation and specialty restaurants um, bookings as well. So absolutely fantastic. You can see the colour schemes here as well, the white and the blue. They really do evoke sea and sky. 
um, the um, our stateroom here has been revitalized and re-inspired as part of our Oceana Next project. And you can, I'm sure you can agree, the suites are looking and the veranda staterooms are looking absolutely stunning. Up next, we have our penthouse grades. Um, here you can see a beautiful white um, and sapphire colour palettes. And again, the penthouse suites have been re-inspired as part of our Oceana Next project. You can see on board the regatta class, the penthouse suites are 322 square foot. And on board the Oceana class, they are 420 square foot. So they are fantastic sizes. Guests will receive all concierge level amenities plus additional penthouse amenities, such as a 24 hour butler service, priority online speciality restaurant bookings, and priority ship embarkation and luggage delivery from noon. Next up, we have our beautiful Oceana Vista and owner suites. So the Vista suites on board our regatta class ships are 786 square foot. Our owner suites on board, the, um, the Vista suites on board our Oceana class ships are between 1,200 and 1,500 square foot. Our Oceana suite on board Oceana class ships only Marina and Riviera are over 1,000 square foot. So guests who book into any of these suites will receive all concierge level amenities and penthouse amenities, plus additional amenities such as priority ship embarkation from 11 a.m a complimentary in-suite bar set up with six full-size bottles of premium spirits and, and or wines, which can be selected from our onboard beverage menu and a choice of pillow from our extensive pillow menu. And then finally, we have our beautiful owner suites. So again, re-inspired as part of our Oceana Next project and the owner suite has been completely furnished by Ralph Lauren at home. The owner suite spans the entire width of the aft of the ship, so you can really get a perspective of how large the suite actually is. The owner's uh, suite features a beautiful foyer area with a music room, plus a stunning living room area, bedroom, bathroom, and a large veranda. Um, and the owner suite is more than 2,000 square foot, so it's a fantastic size. So as well as our accommodations here at Oceana Cruises, we are known for our culinary experience. So I'm now going to talk about incredible cuisine on board. Oceana Cruises have the finest cuisine at sea, and that is trademarked to Oceana Cruises. We invest heavily in our overall culinary experience, so we are very proud of this. We provide open seated dining on board with more space per guest in our restaurants. Uh, we have a commitment to sourcing the best ingredients from around the world with talented and innovative chefs selected from the world's best restaurants. And we have many new and exciting recipes as well as enhanced meal ordering protocols. We have a sumptuous array of specialty restaurants, which are included complimentary with our guest uh, cruise fair. I will um, showcase our specialty restaurants over the next couple of slides. But these restaurants include Red Ginger, which is our Asian fusion restaurant. Toscana, our traditional authentic Italian restaurant, Polo Grill, our steakhouse and seafood restaurant, and Jack's, our French restaurant. So to, to begin with, um, I will speak about our grand dining restaurants on board. So um, the bottom image is the grand dining restaurant on board our Oceana class ships, Marina and Riviera. And then the image just above is the uh, grand dining restaurant on board our regatta class ships. So breakfast, lunch and dinner is served in these restaurants daily and inspiration for dishes for dinner are taken from the areas that you're visiting, um, the destinations that you're visiting that day. So you get a real personal immersive experience um, into the destination. As mentioned previously, there are no set di dining times, open seats dining with no formal nights. However, our restaurants do have an elegant setting. And then in the bottom right hand corner, we have our Terrace Cafe. The Terrace Cafe is our buffet area. However, it's not a traditional buffet as our crew serve you. And if you'd like our, your food run to your table, our crew will do this for you. The cuisine in our Terrace ca uh, Cafe boasts an array of cuisine from sumptu uh, sumptuous breakfast selection to roasted and rotisserie meats, pizza from our pizza oven, or even lobster tails, lamb chops, or freshly made hand cut sushi. You can also enjoy our Terrace Cafe both inside and also our fresco as well. Especially when you're in the Caribbean, that'd be absolutely amazing enjoying your, your breakfast, lunch or dinner outside our fresco.
And then in the top right hand corner, we have our wave, uh, Waves Grill. So Waves Grill offers an extensive and mouth-watering lunch menu, as well as offering juices, smoothies, and healthy energy bowls. During lunch, you can watch our chefs grill gourmet burgers and succulent seafoods, accompanying them with side dishes such as garden fresh salads and hand cut truffle fries, plus many other sides as well. I've had one of the burgers from Waves Grill and they are absolutely amazing. So next up, we have our four specialty restaurants on board. So I'm going to begin with Toscana and Polo Grill. So Toscana is our authentic Italian cuisine. Our cuisine in Toscana has evolved from rich family traditions and many of our recipes have actually originated from the mothers and grandmothers of our own Italianary, Itali um, Italian culinary crew. So it's a real personal, authentic, traditional experience in Toscana. All dishes are presented on elegant, custom-designed Versace china, and the signature dishes within Toscana include the octopus carpaccio with champagne vinaigrette, mm. or the artichoke and parmesan cheese tumble with black truffle sauce. These are definitely the slides. If you haven't had breakfast <laughs> or lunch, you're definitely going to be hungry uh, after, after me speaking about these. I'm just salivating it at the, th the thought of these restaurants at the moment. Um, next up, we have Polo Grill. So Polo Grill embodies all the elements of a classic steakhouse and seafood restaurant. The decor features crisp white tablecloth linen, uh, dark wood furnishings and burgundy leather chairs. Our beef is US prime and dry aged for 28 days, which really does enhance the flavor and tenderness of the beef. Signature dishes within Polo Grill include the King's Cut 32 ounce prime rib steak with garlic mashed potato, cream spinach, truffle fries, as well as succulent seafood dishes such as a grilled sawfish or a whole main lobster, as you can see just in that image to the right hand side just there. And then next up we have Red Ginger and Jack's. So Red Ginger really does radiate harmony and tranquility. The, the interior simply glows with ebony woods, a soothing waterfall and stri uh, striking modern artwork. The, this is the most popular restaurant on board and has won numerous culinary awards at sea. Signature dishes within Red Ginger include the spicy duck and watermelon salad with cashews, Thai vegetable curry with sweet potatoes, aubergines mushroomed in a, in a green curry sauce as well as the miso glazed sea bass which is wrapped in a banana leaf which is the top image on the left hand side just there it looks absolutely delicious and then finally we have jack's so jack's is our french restaurant um, on board and it's a restaurant which pays homage to our executive culinary director jack's papan so a little bit of information um, on the background of jack's papan Jax was actually once the head chef for Charles de Gaulle, so we're very fortunate and privileged to have Jax Papin, uh, Papin involved with our culinary experience here at Oceana Cruises. All of the artwork that can be seen within Jax is actually from Jax Papin's own personal collection as well. So again, you have that personal touch to the restaurant. And Jax is known for its luscious aromas, which kind of waft from the gleam and show rotisserie, where you have chicken, duck, pork, bell which slowly rotates it's definitely an aroma you don't forget so we're now going to showcase some of our wonderful caribbean itineraries to really give you a flavor on the types of itineraries and destinations that we offer in the beautiful caribbean so here is an example we have the caribbean charms itinerary this itinerary is a miami to miami round trip it's a 14 day itinerary departing on the 14th of January 2022 on board Riviera, which, one of, which is one of our Oceana class ships. Riviera has been remastered as part of our Oceana Next project. So um, Riviera's staterooms and Riviera's public areas have been revitalized. Um, and, and as you can see here, the, the Flying Cruise Veranda fares start at £4,519 per person, and that includes your O Life Choice package. Uh, Chloe, I know there's a, quite a few destinations on here which you visited. Which ones on this particular itinerary is your favourite and, and why? 
Um, so I'd say Castries, St Lucia. I've always, always loved St Lucia. It's such a different island. Um, so green and lush with its rainforest. But there's just something for everybody to do, whether you are, you're a beach hopper. It's got stunning beaches all over the island. If you want to go to the rainforest and take a cable car through. Um, it's the first place I ever saw a hummingbird when I went through the rainforest there. Amazing. Um, if you like to do something a bit more adventurous, there's zip lining, there's four by fours, quad biking. Um, but sailing past the Pitons is just something that you'll never forget. It's a beautiful, beautiful island. So plenty to do in St. Lucia. You've also got Kingstown here, St. Vincent. Um, so St. Vincent, it's an island that it took me a while to fall in love with. The sailing in, it's absolutely stunning and it's beautiful. But when you get off the ship, it, it, the island isn't that accessible. You have to get water taxis to any beaches um, around the island. But the best thing to do and why I've fallen in love is the two main tours that, will, that everybody offers um, if you're in St. Vincent, which is to visit Beckway and Mystique. Um, which are two stunning islands that you can visit by Catamaran. Um, so make sure you book those in advance, though, because if you wait till you're on board, um, they will be sold out. So make sure you do those trips there. Um, you've also got Fort de France for Martinique. Martinique is so different. Um, stunning beaches, stunning coves and caves, but everywhere smells of stunning French cuisine. So you're in the Caribbean, chilling on your sun lounger, um, and it's all garlic and wine and... Yeah, it's just a tropical fr little French paradise, really. So, yeah, a really different island there, a nice mix. Sounds perfect, <laughs> absolutely. It does, it does. <laughs> it really is. It's making me miss it a lot, actually. Yeah, I can imagine. Uh, it's making me dream of those destinations. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> perfect. Thank you very much, Clemmy. You're welcome. Um, so next up, we have the Bays to Beaches, which is another, as you can see, stunning itinerary. Again, this is a Miami to Miami itinerary departing um, on the 7th of February 2022 for 12 days on board Riviera. Our fly cruise uh, veranda fares um, start from 4309 per person. That includes your O-Life choice package. We feature the ABC islands over the next couple of itiner itineraries, so um, Aruba, Bonaire and Curacao. Chloe, I know Aruba, Bonaire and Curacao are three of your favourite islands yeah, within the really Caribbean. Are. So um, again, please are you able to tell us a little bit more on what to expect in these destinations and what the guests yeah. can experience, please. I think the ABCs are my favourites because they're just so different and ugh, I love them all, but they're so different to the rest of the Caribbean. So Aruba is so affluent it's a very commercial island but it's the most vibrant island the minute you step off the ship there's bright colored open top buses playing all local music wanting to take you around um it's got really it's got a main street which you can see from the ship it's all in walking distance um and it's just full of full of life and vibrancy it's really easy to get around uh, it's great for shopping there's luxury hotels um, so it's just very, very different, but it, it's, it's very in your face, which I really enjoy. It's kind of got a bit of a carnival vibe to it when you get off. Um, so yeah, it, it's a really great island. Um, and then Curacao, as I said before, with its Dutch being a Dutch island, it makes it very unique. It's very reminiscent of Copenhagen, whether you simply just, it's very easy to walk from the ship into the town. Um, you'll walk through an archway and you've got a main square where they do the best frozen margaritas and mojitos that you'll ever have um, and then you can cross the main bridge into the town where you can shop go to the barbecues but even all the shore excursions that are on offer I went to some really interesting caves um, I went to a aloe vera farm because I love aloe veras <laughs> um, where I got my own little aloe veras to have in in Amazing. my, my onboard cabin um, but it's just a really affluent really different island um, and Bonaire of course it has my all-time favorite beach which is Sorabon Beach um, so for, if you just want a day to relax and unwind um, and just enjoy the sunshine and the beautiful seas around you, it's the perfect island to do that. Amazing. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So as mentioned, we, the, the, the previous um, itinerary and this itinerary are um, island uh, is itineraries that feature the ABC Islands. So this one in particular is the ABC and Windward Isle itinerary. Uh, mm -hmm. This is Aruba to Bridgetown. Uh, departing on the 17th of March uh, 2022 for 12 days. Um, this one's actually, this itinerary is actually sailing on Sarina, one of our regatta class ships, so one of our smaller ships. 
um, and the, the fly cruise uh, fares for a veranda stateroom start from three thousand nine hundred and nine pounds per person. And obviously, we've spoken to Chloe um, about mm-hmm. her incredible experiences within the ABC Islands. So they are definitely, definitely um, itineraries that which will sell very quickly and are very exciting. That's a really good mix there of the islands because you've got Antigua as well. So. 365 beaches, one for every day of the year. So you need to do this cruise a few times to see them all. (laughs) (laughs) Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Thank you. You're welcome. And then finally, and our final itinerary, we have the incredible crystalline Caribbean itineraries. So this is an inaugural turnaround port for us here at Oceana Cruises. We've not had a turnaround in Barbados before. So this is a perfect itinerary to add on a pre or post stay to extend your holiday in Barbados. Um, These sailings have been very popular for the UK market just because they are the perfect time of year to go, Um, especially the 20th of December voyage as this is a Christmas sailing and we do uh, we do know our guests do like to get away for to go to go on holiday for Christmas and, and um, experience Christmas uh, abroad. So these have definitely been very popular sailings for the UK market. Fly cruise veranda fares start from three hundred three thousand eight hundred and sixty nine pounds per person. So it's extremely good value. And again, I know Chloe, this is one of the destinations which you've visited quite a lot while working on board. What's your favourite mm. part of Bridgetown and Barbados? Um, Barbados for me it's all about steel drums as soon as you sail in you'll hear the steel drums they'll be there along the side welcome you in and no matter where you go they'll be playing music it's just such a vibrant island it's got beautiful beaches so Carlisle Bay which is you can walk you can bike or you can get a taxi as soon as you get off the ship there's taxis waiting but you can actually walk to Carlisle Bay which is just a stunning strip of beach Um, everything is there that you need if you want a hammock a sun lounger some food and drink it's all there for you it's also really popular for cricket fans you can do tours of the Absolutely, cricket stadiums yeah. there uh, really good trips to i'm not a rum uh, a rum drinker but if you want if you like your rum they'll take you to rum distilleries and show you some home brews and you can have a a nice explore of that if rum is your thing um but also great for catamaran tours there's some really good um turtle spotting here in, in bridgetown it's the first time i ever um swam with turtles there's a natural shipwreck there and every time i've been there's, there's plenty of turtles there so if you if you're into snorkeling it's it's a great island but it's just really accessible really easy to get around really safe um plenty to do um it's a very happy island they're always happy to see us there and welcome guests it's great for christmas as well i spent a few christmases there and they'll they'll change the tune on their steel drums to well-known amazing. British Christmas songs, so oh, wow. you don't feel like you're missing out. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. When, yeah. when can I go? When can I go? <laughs> that's the question. As long as I can come, I don't mind. We'll go <laughs> Thank you. Um, so that was everything from our itineraries. We do offer many other itineraries within the Caribbean, but they were four uh, that we selected for today's webinar. If you do have any questions or qu- uh, queries and you'd like to find out some more itineraries, please um, reach out to Chloe um, or the, the, the wider team at Panache Cruises and they'll be able to take you through all of our itineraries and answer any queries or questions that you have. So within the Caribbean, we also offer a go local tour. So our go local tours are an immersive experience. So they're not like a traditional shore excursions that we may offer. Our go local tours take you off the beaten track and allow you to experience destinations um, more uh, immersively. So this one in particular, in Cranley Ditch, it's a um, it's a traditional fishing with local fishermen. So here you'll be able to fish offshore with locals that will take you to their favourite fishing spots. So you actually go out um, with locals to their favourite fishing spots and um, fish with them, and they will te- uh, teach you their their tips and their techniques, as well as marvel at the historical sites along the shores that will lend um, insight into Bonaire's past. So again, it kind of touches on what uh, Chloe said earlier about when you're sailing along being able to point out all the different landmarks and the celebrities homes and historic sites etc um, and then we have an Oceana Select Shore Excursion um, in Williamstown 
So this is the Dutch Caribbean wine and cheese tasting. It definitely sounds like a sure excursion up my street. I love cheese and I love wine, so it sounds absolutely perfect. So here you can enjoy an enlightening uh, tour through the UNESCO World Heritage Site, sampling wines and um, and cocktails, cocktails paired with a beautiful Dutch cheeses. So to me, it sounds absolutely perfect. Here at Oceana Cruises, we do have additional add-ons. So we do have something called the Ultimate Passport Collection. So this is absolutely fantastic if you're looking to take short excursions within the Caribbean. So the Unlimited Passport Collection is an additional add-on where you can receive up to unlimited a la carte short excursions throughout your voyage. Um, the, the Unlimited Passport do uh, does come at a surcharge, but please speak to Chloe and the team at Panache. And if you are interested in taking the unlimited passport collection on any of our Caribbean voyages, they'll be able to quote you the, the cost for it. But you receive additional savings on also um, our Ocean Select and Ocean Exclusive shore excursions as well. So not only do you have unlimited access to the a la carte shore excursions, you receive savings on the Ocean Select and Ocean Exclusive excursions too. You can book these 365 days in advance and it's a great way to secure your short excursions. Um, as Chloe mentioned, short excursions do sell out very quickly um, and if you do leave it to, to getting on board, availability may be limited. So I would definitely recommend booking it in advance and no better way to be able to book 365 days in advance of your cruise. And next up, we have our Prestige Select Beverage Package. So here you can enjoy unlimited premium spirits, champagnes, wine, beer by, um, um, and beer by the glass, wherever and whenever you wish. You can upgrade to the Prestige Beverage Package for $20 per person per day, which is absolutely fantastic value. And you can also receive 20% discount on wine pairing dinners at La Reserve on board Marina and Riviera. So La Reserve is our wine pairing restaurant. Um, it has, has seven courses which are paired with beautiful wines and vintages. La Reserve also hosts the Dom Perignon Experience. And the Don Perignon Experience is an exclusive at sea partnership. And we have worked very closely with Don Perignon to create and bespoke the perfect six course menu paired with beautiful Don Perignon vintages and um, Don Perignon vintages. So it's definitely um, something to consider if you're sailing on board one of our Riviera Caribbean itineraries. And then we have um, options um, here at Oceana Cruises um, where you can upgrade your flight. So as mentioned, all flights are included with our with, with our fares here at Oceana. Um, so um, economy flights are included as standard, but you can upgrade your flights. And at the moment we have select sailings where we have premium and world traveler plus upgrades from 199 pounds per person each way which again is absolutely fantastic and business class upgrades from 1499 pounds per person each way so again these fares are fantastic for both uh, world traveler plus um, and premium and also for business as well and again you'll be able to speak to chloe and the team at panache cruises and they'll be able to help and assist and answer any queries that you have on flight upgrades and then finally, we have recently um, received our brand new Caribbean uh, flyer. This is a six page flyer which features all of our Caribbean sailings as well as information on our ultimate passport collection and the refurbishment projects, the Ocean and Next projects, which I've spoken in a little bit of detail um, earlier in today's presentation, which has happened on board all of our regatta class ships as well as our Oceana class ships, but in the Ca Caribbean specifically on board uh, Riviera and Irina. If you would like a copy of our latest Caribbean flyer, please reach out to Chloe or any of the team at Panache Cruises and they will send you a copy. It has plenty of information, loads of itineraries to, to look at um, and, and ponder over. I certainly love looking at these flyers because it definitely gives me aspirations to, to travel to the Caribbean. Um, so yeah, if, you, if you'd like a, a copy, please reach out to Chloe or the team at Panache and they will send a, a copy over. So I'm just going to hand uh, back over to Chloe to finish, but thank you very much for joining uh, today's webinar. And uh, it's been great to present the Caribbean to you. So thank you very much, Chloe.
Thank you, James. Yes, thank you so much for joining us. I'd just like to apologise again for the technical difficulties we had at the beginning there. Uh, thank you so much for staying tuned. If you'd like to learn more about the Caribbean, um, please do get in touch if you've got any questions. Um, I'd happily, happily go over those with you, um, as would any of the team here at Panache. I would also like to mention an exclusive offer we have at the moment. So if anybody books on the back of this webinar in the next two weeks for an Oceana cruise, um, they'll receive $100 on board credit, as well as a very lovely uh, hamper from the team here at Panache from Fortune and Mason. So thank you again for joining us. Any questions, do get in touch and hopefully we'll be talking to you soon about the wonderful Caribbean islands and booking your next wonderful cruise. Have a lovely day. Bye. Thank you, everybody.